Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Fix It In Post. My name is Nick and I'm going to take you through a very common mistake. Uh, well, it's a problem that comes up when you start using After Effects for the first time. It's not something that anybody is able to really explain in an easy way. So I thought I might try and explain it uh, for everybody out there who ha is having problems with After Effects. Kind of the first few months when you start using it, it, there are some weird things about After Effects that I don't know why it does it, but it's there and I don't think they're going to fix it anytime soon or no one's figured out a better solution for it, but I thought I might help you out here. So um, now one of the things that you might come across is this situation where you've got, I've got this cool rocket that I made um, and you just want to, you know, you make your first keyframe and your last keyframe, you go from here to here. That's all good because, you know, he just flies across the screen, which is, or she, there's no, there's nothing wrong with a woman astronaut. There are many of them um, flying across the screen. Now, what you sometimes want to do is that, okay, maybe you want to change the trajectory a little bit and say, go up like this. Now, as you can see, you might have originally thought that, oh, I just wanted to go in a straight line from there to there and then there to there. But what you notice now is that it kind of does a little bit of a curve. It's not straight, plus the rocket doesn't follow the path, but that's another story. Okay, now that's one issue. The other issue is this. Say you just wanted to fly up here, pause, and then fly then there for, you know, so we want to hold up there for maybe like a couple of frames. So what you would do is you grab this keyframe, we'll move it here, and then we, uh, we'll highlight it, then we'll go and copy it, and then we'll go here and we'll paste it. Now, what you would expect to happen is that it should go up, pause, and then come back down, right? But this is what happens. It's weird, right? That little bouncing thing, like why does that occur? So here, I'm going to explain why that happens and I'll explain why After Effects does it. It's actually trying to help you out, but this is one of those rare instances where it kind of throws you off and you have no idea what the crap is going on. Crap? Can I say crap? Yeah, it's YouTube, whatever. Okay, let's have a look. So here's my explanation. So basically, there are two things you need to look at. Um, I'm just going to put it in these simple terms that you probably won't understand. Spatial interpolation which essentially is, uh, if you can imagine, this is, this is the space between things. So basically how, it, how uh, After Effects inter uh, interprets space between things. So that's one thing you gotta keep in mind, spatial interpolation. So remember, that's the distance. This is about distance and space. It has nothing to do with anything else. And then there's temporal interpolation, which uh, if you, I don't even know where the word temporal comes from, but is it an English word? I don't know, but I should know. This is terrible that I don't know. Anyway, I'll look it up later. Maybe I'll cut this out in the edit. Anyway, temporal interpolation is, um, you know, the time basically uh, between things or timey wimey wibbly wobbly stuff as, you know, this uh, famous doctor once put it. All you have to do is remember that this is to do with space. This is to do with time. Now, once you remember that, it's a fairly easy thing to fix. Let's go back to our demo. So, if you highlight the keyframes here, what you can do is you can right click on it and there are two things down here. There is, sorry, there's one thing down here and there's one menu you need to look at, it's keyframe interpolation. Let's click on that. Now, you remember the thing we said before, linear uh, temporal interpolation has to do with the time and spatial interpolation has to do with the, um, the space between things. Don't worry about that so much. So at the moment, the reason why this is doing this motion, why it's going backwards and forwards like that, is because it's actually trying to, uh, tr how to explain it, ease the frames between the same frame. So it's trying to make it smooth. And it doesn't want it to just slow, it doesn't want to just go up to there and stop, it's trying to figure out, well, how can I make this smooth? And the way that After Effects logically tries to do it is to put extra keyframes so that it slowly goes out and then slowly comes back in again. It's ridiculous, but that's essentially what it's trying to do. So let's go keyframe interpolation 
and we want to fix the space. So we'll go linear and we'll go, okay. And that should fix it. Now at the moment, um, it looks very jarring, right? Cause you go, it goes zzz, and then stops. It's very jarring. So the other thing we need to look at is unless that's what you want, but we could probably do better than that. Let's look at uh, temporal interpolation. So as you can see here, these are the kind of the frames in between these little dots. I'll just go on a little bit closer. You can see, oh, let's take off the black here. Um, you can see these little dots. This is basically, you can see how equal dis, uh, equidistant everything is, um, how evenly spaced everything is, which is fine. But what if we wanted to be more, start slow and then go fast and then slow. So we can do that a couple of ways. One is to, you know, you could right click everything and, uh, and then go easy ease, which will probably fix that. And you can see the keyframes change or you can do it this way where you go in keyframe interpolation and go continuous be easier. Well, it's not amazing, but it is what it is and it'll work. Um, I'm going to delete this frame because I think it's just too little frames to make it look like a nice ease. I don't know why that doesn't look very good. Maybe this is just a dud tutorial. It is easing. It's just very, very subtle. Okay guys, welcome to the bonus round for those eager beavers out there who want to know a little bit more how to solve that uh, path problem. Like obviously this doesn't look good. Like that's not how Rocker would go. You want it to follow on a path, right? So look, um, now I will tell you this. We had that problem before where, you know, you put that keyframe there and then you put that keyframe there and it does that little wibbly woggly thing in between, right? Um, so that doesn't happen anymore, but we still do want the curves to occur. So here's what we're going to have to do. Keyframe interpolation, um, spatial, you don't have to pick all the keyframes, just pick the first one. We'll just pick continuous B here so that we can at least put a nice curve on it. And the same with the last one. We're going to do that with the last one. Um, actually, we don't need that frame in between, do we? Because we want it to just go up and down. So let me delete that one. Um, and we'll make that, actually. We'll make that a continuous B0 as well. So that just is a nice curve. So as you can, it's cool. We've got these B0 handles that we can pull out. Um, I mean, you can make this go wherever you want, really and we could do this sort of motion. Now, just so you did want to do that kind of motion, ideally it'd be kind of cool if it followed this path, right? But as it stands, it's not going to do that. In fact, it's not going to do anything like that. It's just going to do something ugly like this. Ooh, which is kind of cool, I guess, but let's see if we can do one better. So what you can do is right click, transform, and go auto orient. Then go orient along path and watch this. Whoa, it's actually flying. What's a bit lame though is it's just slowing down. So if we wanted to kind of just continually go through, I mean, if that's not the effect you want to go for, then this is the other thing you could do to fix it. Right click highlight all your keyframes, right click, and then go rove across time. And that will literally make all those keyframes even across the board. So watch this. How cool is that? Not bad, huh? Now you can impress everybody. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial today. There's more stuff um, coming down the pipeline, more stuff on animation, and I hope to see you soon. Check out the other tutorials, and um, if you haven't seen Deadpool, go see it. It is awesome. I'll give it 10 out of 10. No, that's too much. 9 out of 10. But Ryan Reynolds has done good. Done really good. Okay, see you guys next time.
Hey guys, if you like that tutorial, then maybe you would like to click on some of these ones. Um, I can't promise they were as good as the one that you just saw, but they're not bad. Um, so yeah, just uh, click on uh, one of the links or, you know, consider subscribing or, um, I don't know. Hey look, I'll give you a free tip if you subscribe. Invest in Lego. Okay. The Lego Death Star 2, actually, uh, was, you could buy it in 2005 for $379. It's now valued at $5,000 something dollars. So, uh, Lego is a better investment than gold. Free stock tip. You heard it here first, people.